Morning, Steve Freed in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we had a bounce in prices overnight led by the beans. I think when we look at the overnight news, the first thing that we would look at is that there was some Chinese economic data for both exports and imports that came out better than expected. That's got copper up uh, to new highs since June. We also noted that uh, from a weather forecast, a lot of rains will continue across Kansas, Missouri, the Delta, and the southern part of the eastern Midwest, leaving kind of Iowa uh, with a lack of, of rainfall. Uh, anybody that goes through the state says that uh, this is not really impacting the corn crop, but it could impact the beans. Overnight, the Chinese uh, auction was uh, less than expected. Uh, China saw a record amount of beans come in July, and they could have a record except one uh, soybean stocks. But the fact that they didn't sell as many beans in the reserve to the domestic market could also be helping uh, the market. We also get some export sales uh, later today. There could be as much as a million tons of new crop beans and corn, and maybe somewhere we're trying five and 700,000 tons of wheat. So these prices are attracting, at least for new crop, uh, some sales out of the United States. Uh, we also will be getting a crop report on August 12th, and when we're driving around the Midwest, we're seeing a very big corn crop, and so I think that might limit the upside in corn. But this, for this report, the USDA just counts how tall the soybean crop is, and it's very short this year, and it's late, and so you might get a little bit of a surprise on this August soybean yield. Uh, the trade is already looking for a lower yield than what the government said in July. Uh, that can also uh, help some short covering going into the report. As far as the cattle market is concerned, Tyson announced that they will no longer accept cattle fed with a certain growth hormone. Cattle futures are up sharply because of that. Um, people don't think that necessarily is going to add to the feed usage or necessarily add to the longer time that cattle are being fed and could be kept off the market, but it is a positive feature in the cattle market uh, and the supporting prices. So again, we're up overnight. I think a lot of it has to do with short covering, a lot of it has to do with coming into this report where the market uh, is short and there's some short covering and part of that has to do with better economic data, especially in China. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day. Steve Free in